एक तरफ विद्युत जामवाल के एक्शन सीक्वेंसेस तो दूसरी जगह नौरा फतेह के जलवे और कहीं और अर्जुन रामपाल के डार्क सीक्रेट्स हाय दिस इज समीना शेख यर जॉइन मी एज आई वेलकम थ्री क्रैक्स ऑन जूम चैनल राइट नाउ शुड आई बी कॉलिंग ऑल क्रैक्स इज दैट अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट फॉर अस आई एम वेरी क्रैक एवरीबॉडी इज वांटिंग विल वांट टू बी क्रैक्ड आफ्टर दिस फिल्म really and yeah. i i saw the trailer it looks fantastic it's like quite an action oriented but how cracked were you while shooting this one yeah. i think it's i've had uh, after a long time uh, mm. physically a challenging and just uh, having this rush of uh, adrenaline you know that you kind of get when mm. you do an action film um i got to do and it was so much fun doing it so much fun because we got so many opportunities to do so many different things which you always thought yaar i wish i could do this in a movie i wish i could do this in a movie a lot more than that has happened so uh, it's been too much fun making this film especially with vidyut who is an extreme sport i mean he's a supreme athlete but like, we are yeah with a different level of an athlete I exactly mean, when you uh, i didn't even know and maybe if i knew it i wouldn't have done the film uh, okay <laughs> at that point in time that uh, when if you google him he in his martial arts is beyond bruce lee and jackie chan okay no really it's a fact i don't know yeah. why uh, we don't know about it i mean he's a very low key guy he doesn't advertise that but honestly that's the truth just google it you'll know i'm not uh, yeah. just saying something you know this is there for everybody to see he does this training process every year and they do there's a whole martial arts thing that sits there mm. and they rank you mm-hmm. he's ranked number 1 in the world mm-hmm. you know what i mean he might go to 2 or 3 if he's not done it for like a few months mm. and that's how the thing but right now is number 1 now if i knew he was number 1 i would have most probably <laughs> said no to with you <laughs> i didn't do this movie but, but when i wrestled is... with him yeah. i realized why he is number 1 and like this is a phenomenally strong man and i'm a strong guy so yeah and to add to this also vidyut had come to zoom also where he was training women for martial arts so really commendable you know the way he's training yes for safety and all you know for That's girls safety yeah it's amazing yeah so and i i but he's I been was... training my little boy also oh. my boy is a huge fan of vidyut arik yeah. okay he like uh, and he's amazing with kids yeah. he's got this different kind of a technique what he does with kids which people again a lot of people don't know uh but uh, they don't speak to each other for 2 weeks or a week 10 days they'll not speak they'll just make eye contact they'll look they'll go away they'll look and he'll also just look or he will look and he'll go away so i think like, stop spooking my kid dude like what are you doing like you're scaring him so he goes don't worry he'll come to me and then sure enough one day i am hear these squeals of absolute uh, you know ecstasy happening like like lots of fun like uh, and i say, that's arik and i go there and he's playing with vidyu they both are like somersaulting and flipping and doing all of that so yeah i mean he's got this knack he understands human anatomy really really well and uh, so it's been really a revelation for me to work on a film like this I would have asked you, but I f- I feel like I've got my answer that you didn't get the chance to take a revenge against him when he <laughs> literally cracked you on the set. Picture of Ibaki and Mary Jo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to you, Nora. You you literally said that you know at the trailer launch also that it's like you got a proper place you know in terms of heroine, like the lead actress role and. Uh, you also you if i go by your role also it's like influencers influenza which you are trying to create mm. and we could see some like you know some fun moments with him but at the same time being a part of this one because there's action oriented scenes and as you said like you know you did your own you know level best action and all but completely an action oriented one mm. how was it you know for you it was an amazing experience for me um i did feel a lot of pressure on set because I, like I mentioned uh, during the trailer launch, I was the last one to be added in the cast, and they had already started shooting. So I did feel like, oh, okay, I need to prove myself. I need to, you know, get on their level. But obviously, they were on another level altogether. What the fuck about that? But you know, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me use this chance to learn. Hmm. Let me use this chance to prove myself in different ways. Um, and it was it was a bit challenging. Not only was it challenging with the action sequences. but it was even challenging for me to 
get out of my head. Like I had that fear of, oh, like, okay, now I'm doing lead. Like, I hope I don't screw this one up. I hope I do this well. I hope I make everyone proud. So that pressure is always there mentally. And I had that every time I was coming on set. Mm. I think that for me was a big challenge. Where did you learn your Mawali lingo from? It's like completely tapori. I live with them. I have a lot of friends who are from the hood and I enjoy them. And I spend a lot of time with them. So. Yeah. And also talking about your own role, you know, you're not only an actor, but you're also producing this one. Was there a load on you in terms of the production money, the costing and all these things? Were you very calculative on the sets? No, I'm not very sure about the calculator bit, but I was sure about the things I wanted to watch on screen when it finally was ready. Hmm. And we've got it all ready. And I love every part of it. Um, I had different highs in the movie. There was We were shooting for June, the song. Yeah. And I remember um, the choreography was very simple. And I was excited to dance with her. Because she's got to she's got to She will make me dance. So I told her, I said, listen, listen, I'm getting to dance with some, one of the biggest dancers in the world. Working with him was as amazing. Um, I used to call him a Londa on set. They want to run and do everything. I was excited to watch an actor really do everything, desiring to do everything. So for me, the production part was easy because I got to work with actors who really wanted to do their best. Like when Nora comes on the set, she, the only, only thing is that I want to give him my best. He's crazy. If I want to do something, I'm hoping he says no because it's going to invest a lot of time in the two of us shooting this. But yeah. he wants to do it. And when you watch the movie, that's what it is. It's mm -hmm. amazing. So I got lucky as a producer. Mm -hmm. And often it has, we also see there are a lot of action-oriented films. You know, Fighter was the last one which we saw on screen, Patan, Javan. I had to ask, the, the interesting part over here is that, and I told you offline also, that an Indian person is there to, you know, direct the stunts and all, the scenes, what you guys are doing, and that makes us quite proud. Don't you all also feel the same when you are working on this one? So, actually, we had, like, uh, action Seven. directors from different parts of the world also who mm -hmm. came. Uh, and then, of course, we had Ravi. Uh, who uh, came in, who we had the best time with, like, honestly speaking, because he was ours, you know what I mean? And I think he's got, he's got the, the best pieces yeah. in the film, you know, uh, he's supremely talented. But even those guys, I mean, what they've given us is phenomenal. And this is all research because Vidyut has gone, uh, and Aditya, gone so deep into exactly what this whole choreography or, and this whole uh, thing is going to be because just not giving any t too many spoilers, the whole thing is about competition, it's mm -hmm. about a race. Every action sequence is this adrenaline filled, you know, high octane, highly risky race that is taking place. And uh, that energy to get is not easy to shoot, mm -hmm. you know, it's not easy at all and to get that scale. It was absolutely mind-boggling. Coming back to what Vidyut was as a producer, I don't think he can really say, oh, I was a great producer, or I did the whole math and I did the calculations or whatever. I think he was, was there's a lot for people to learn from him as a producer. I, I would learn from him, you know, I've produced films. Uh, I know how stressful it is when yeah. things are going off and mm. things are not falling into place and uh, this guy would just be with a smile on his face and he'd be like, okay, ho jayega. You know, very zen-like. And that yes. actually comes from, I think, his discipline in martial arts, mm. in his meditation, in just the way he leads his life. Uh, you know, it, it, it was really, really cool because that becomes so infectious yeah. that there is no negativity on the set. Mm -hmm. So if there's negativity, if your main guy, who is the boss out there, is going to just be like, it's okay, don't worry about it. We'll sort it, we'll fix it. You know, even if there's an issue, um, it's absolutely dissolved and it goes away. So hats off to him because it was not an easy film to do. It it's not, not at all yeah. an easy film to do. From any angle, for any producer, if he's new or a complete veteran, yeah. it w was a huge challenge as a production. Uh, but I think Aditya, Abbas and Vidyut have excelled in it and done a fantastic job. And I have to ask three of you, also as we talk about comp competition, you know, more often we do see everyone is running the race, you know, be it box office collections, be it like, you know, having a good social media game for that matter. How taxing does it get as an actor for all you three, you know, whenever you are trying to be up there, but at the same time somewhere you feel like you need to draw the line, you need to cut off, you need to be off wherever it's going somewhere, Take, taking your own time. 
while developing your own personalities? I'm not the right person to ask because I don't, I'm constantly working. I don't take time off or switch off. I'm just working, 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 working. Um, but I'm not working thinking like I'm, I'm racing with others. I'm actually racing with myself, uh, trying to prove to myself, trying to create new challenges and break those challenges and reach further up in my my own race if you know what i'm trying to say so i have so many things i want to do in life and i'm trying to make them happen I'm not thinking about everyone else that's around me they're not relevant to me at all what about you Elgin? you know i mean when you say race and all of that i one thing i've learned in this industry over decades is um, a lot of people get happy uh, to see people not succeed okay uh, and uh, i think that's a very negative approach to have in life because you're never going to grow. I think the most important thing is to feel happy for people who are doing well, you know, and uh, be around people who have a positive uh, attitude. Mm -hmm. And if you have that in your life, you're very lucky, and you must surround yourself with those kind of people, because then uh, all these things that you spoke about will never come or be part of that conversation anymore, you know? So you, it doesn't exist. So that race doesn't exist, mm. nothing exists. You're just happy for if a person's done well. Wow, man, that would be really, really good for that person. It's mm. great. When a Patan does and goes and breaks those records and then he comes and he does it again with a Jawan, you're like, outstanding, man. That's fantastic. That's true. It's great for the industry. You know, so you have to encourage that and uh, acknowledge it and be proud of it and be happy for that person. Then whatever happens in your life or whatever, however you go about it, uh, good things will happen to you too. And those people will be happy for you too. What about you? I agree. Well said. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the race, but I'm running. And whether somebody runs or not, I'm going to keep running. And I love running and I'm running and I'm running. So that's the best part of it. I don't know about the race, but I'm running. And as you talk about running, we also see a lot of videos of you just going in that, you know, eyes water. Have you seen his videos mm. like that? It's like I've seen better videos than anything. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know what there's something to try. <laughs> and that's like gutsy, I must say that, you know, it's not yeah, easy it for everyone to just go and do that, you know, just an eyes bath for that matter, you know. How do you do that with you? And you're completely into action, you're doing this, you are, you know, manifesting a lot of people in a way. Uh, encouraging people, I would say that, you know, to be in that Zen mode wherever life takes you. You know, I like to do things that make me feel a different emotion about myself or what I'm imagining. Like, there are a lot of fears that people put in and if I feel that something's scaring me, I like to face it. It comes with everything, whether I go into snow or I do a high line. I enjoy this. When, when something in my head says it's a little difficult, I like to try it. And the moment I try it, I realize it's so simple. They are saying the wrong thing. Hence, I don't listen to they say. See, I just do it. Exactly. Not I have to ask you this question. And I have to ask you, like, you are being the boss lady of late. How it's it's being you know producer director, even like doing everything, composing everything. You were like one of the first people to hear it before it came out. No, but I didn't watch it like fully. Like it's really like I was like I had to call him. Sorry, it was amazing. You're producing this huge. Sorry, what is it? I missed it. She's become a boss lady with her new as my new international single came out and it's called Ambassy. Oh really? I have to see that. It's amazing. I'm calling me a boss. Thank you. And she's like turned the producer. She's a director. I said, "Bitch, I'm bossy." Bitch, I'm bossy. Yes, that's what I said. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how how it has been for you the journey overall? You have not produced only one, but like you know, few more songs. Yeah, out there. this would be like my fifth production, um, and it's producing music videos, producing movies are not the same. They're different worlds, but they have the same stress in terms of when you have a certain budget and. This is all the money allocated to make the project, and then budgets start going crazy, and you you freak out. So when he said that video on set was chilled, I don't know how because yeah. I when you see the BTS of the music videos I produce, mm. I'm a psychopath on set. I'm screaming at everybody. I'm like, let's go overtime. I will not pay an extra five thousand no, dollars. You spend turn, time with them. You know, yeah, 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 I have yeah. to become zen, I guess. Because no, no, it is yeah. so important. I have it been is? like that too. You know, when you're yeah, producing and, and you're like, hey, yeah, scary, this is yeah. going to cost me so much and this, and you take that stress. And but that is not what you've come there to do. That's what I realized from with you. You've come there to. Make get project, something. Yeah. No, you get something. You hadn't planned. You came there to get this. Okay. 
didn't happen today, it'll happen tomorrow. You're not dying. Sometimes you, you don't know have money I mean. for yeah. tomorrow. It's okay, it's but okay. <laughs> you will, it'll come. You, you will figure it out. If yeah. you are open-minded to figuring it out, mm. it will come. That's true. That's yeah. in yeah. every yeah. aspect of life. And at the end of the day, when you're producing, you're risk-taking. It is what it is. It's like you're gambling. It's these two kids do. <laughs> four, 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 four. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, <laughs> two boys and yeah. two girls. I love yeah. it. Perfection. Yeah. Perfection, I must say that. Yeah, what he said is right. <laughs> but yeah, I feel really lucky because... And he's such a great father. Sorry, yeah, he sorry. is. No, no, he's it's okay. Father. That's important information to add. Yeah. Definitely he is. Um, I feel really lucky because I get to uh, experience two different worlds. I can experience the world of performance, art, singing, music video making, international singing, and then I can experience film, cinema, acting. So I feel so lucky. Since Valentine's Day is close by, I'm going to not play Valentine quiz and games and all with you, but definitely I would want the act the actor side of yours, you know, to come out over here, you have to like, in a, in a fictional way, you have to write a letter to your loved one who you really like on the Bollywood canvas. It could be anyone. And three lines if you could say about it. So I say, starting with you. Any I actor have, basically. I have really to like. choose an actor. Choose an actor. And, and I have then to give a Valentine uh, oh message, message to that yes. actor. Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, you are going to easy, get yeah. me divorced. No. Okay, so please. No! <laughs> don't play silly games with me. <laughs> but what if you don't have any actor that you want to write it that It could to? be anyone then. Maybe, it. you know, someone you admire. It's I'll not start, compulsory. I'll start. So, my darling Nora, on the 14th of Feb this year, I would like you to come with me to Noida for the Crack Carnival <gasps> Tour. And ah. you and I will dance oh my God. with everybody. And you're welcome to come to he'll perform for you. So please say yes, so that we can take the flight tomorrow, or th sorry, on the 13th. We can get Arjun with us, if you allow. We'll get all the other artists, and we'll perform. Is that okay with you? Lots okay. of love with you. Very, I love that. that. I love so that. Amazing. And that was very, yeah, yeah. well that was a very written. nice date. Okay, so I'm going to reply to this letter. I'm waiting. She's writing. I'm going to reply. <laughs> Dear Vidyut, okay, I love this concept and idea of this out of the box date. I'm ready to come. I'm going to bring my dancers. <laughs> And yes, you may bring Arjun and everybody else, <laughs> but me and you have to do our romantic dance on Hundreds. stage in front of everybody. I'm and Arjun, if you to had to write it to Gabriel. <laughs> to Gabriela? Yeah. Yeah. Nee. yeah. Nothing. Some, some words for her, basically. I maybe. mean, yes, I love you. <laughs> that's oh, <it. laughs> that's so <laughs> sweet. And I'm just going to play one segment, which is about, uh, you have to guess who this personality is. Um, and I'm going to talk about their work, their profession before they were an actor. So you have to guess who that actor is. Okay. Okay. So the very first are one is... Are they in the race that you were talking about or they're not a uh, part of the race? That race you were mentioning. They're a part of the race. So we should know. Yeah. They're the all ra the Everyone's race. racing. Well but let's, let's like do this. Like okay. only three, four I'll give yeah. examples. Okay. She worked for a hookah parlor. <laughs> what was she doing in the hookah parlor? Because hookah parlor sounds weird. You mean a shisha place? Like a shisha restaurant. Okay. Yes or so no? So what is she doing yeah. in the hookah Like a shisha restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Like she a what was she doing hookahs. there? She was cleaning windows? No, no. She was working over there as, as the like a she waitress. Was, yeah, like yeah. a manager. Okay. Like a manager. Okay. Manager. Like, waitress. That's cool. like a waitress, is, I guess. That's amazing. Making yeah. shisha and stuff. Okay. Who do you think that could be? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I have no idea. I have great respect for that person. Yeah. Wow. Who was it? Okay. Leave it and get them but do you know them? Yeah, love okay, me see, yeah. according to Google, what I got as an answer was Nora Fatehi, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was it you? Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, be specific. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so why didn't you tell us? Like, because right it's now, a guess. Yeah. It's like, it's a guess. Oh, it's a like guess. that. I thought, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Oh. And I love the way they were saying it. Yeah, <laughs> like, wow. such a lo lovely job. No, because you know why I didn't take her name? I promise you I didn't think about it. Because she knows a lot about shisha and she's passionate <laughs> about it. Yeah, that's true. No, that's true. So I didn't... Like, this is not a good shisha. Make okay. another no, one. No, she's very particular about it. And I had no idea that like, it could be one of us. So like that. Oh, okay. He was an attendant at concerts in Delhi. I have a feeling What's he knows attendant? it. What's an attendant? Attended. The one who was attending the concert as an audience. No, basically no. like helping the, you know, uh, uh, taking place, the concert is taking place and ensuring that, you know, one goes from another place to other or like, you know, receiving people, the guests and all like that. Ah, okay. I think you know, why, why I feel you know this answer. You're is smiling, it? so no. I felt so. I, I mean, uh, I think, is it not me? 
It is me only. Is I, I have attended, <laughs> I've been attendant at concerts is also it? where I've like is it? ushered people. But it's, in. Oh, it's been you. Who, who is it? It's Shah Rukh Khan as well. No way. Really? Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. But even I've done it. Oh wow. We oh. all had to do it voluntarily in Hindu college. Oh, there you go. Just to throw us into these the different different places to go and do it. Oh wow. Okay, this person was a watchman in Delhi and also a chemist guy. No. Who was that? Who was that? No, I said. Watchman in Delhi, no, Nawazuddin. Nawazuddin. Yeah, I've heard this. Okay, last, also did this. last yeah? two, mm -hmm. and I think this one you'll get it because he was a bus conductor. Rajnikant. Rajnikant. Yes. And the last one, a waiter and chef in Bangkok. Akshay Kumar. Yeah, cool. Okay, hi, hi, this is Arjun Rampal, and you're watching me exclusively on Zoom. Hi, this is Nora Fatay, and you're watching me exclusively on Zoom. Hi, this is Vidyut Jamwal, and you're watching me on Zoom.